Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Skill Guide series. My name is Dashing Dot, and I hope you can learn something. As always, I take a long time to research each skill, and therefore you can expect me to have put in at least 50 hours for this. I hope you enjoy the guide, and I would absolutely love a follow on both Twitch and YouTube. If you find any mistakes, please let me know in the comments or contact me through my Discord. The written version of the skill guide will be put onto my website under dashingart.co.uk. Endurance is the most powerful skill in Tarkov, and one of the hardest to max out. Only an idiot would spend the time needed and... Wait, that would be me. Never mind, let's focus on the hard facts. Here are the ways you gain endurance. By walking and by running. These are the conditions you gain endurance skill points. When you're walking, you must be underweight and at least 10% underweight from your maximum weight capacity. Let me give you an example. If your maximum capacity is 40 kilogram, then you will gain endurance through walking by having a maximum load of 36 kilograms. Once you hit 36.1, you will gain strength by walking instead of endurance. If you run, you always gain some endurance through running, no matter if you are overweight or not. With endurance, it is fairly important to know that you gain the skill over time, not by distance, because when you walk for one minute, you will end up with 0.5 skill points. It does not matter if you ran in between. There is obviously a protection from BSG's side to prevent people to walking into a wall, which means you need to move freely in order to start gaining the skill points. You can maximize your endurance gain by using the hideout, where you have um, the air filtering unit that gives you plus 40%, and yes, it does work. I have tested it extensively, and it's worth it. So why is endurance the strongest skill, in my opinion? Well, not only will you have 150% more stamina on max level, but you can also aim for a very long time, meaning holding your breath. And the stamina drain for jumps is, dis is decreased by 50%. But that is not all. What makes the skill so desirable is the stamina recovery. Within 11 seconds, your stamina bar has recovered from zero to full. And that actually got buffed, because in 11.7 it was 12 seconds. You can expect to put in around 150 hours to max out the skill. I needed about 159 hours in total, but that is because I often loot resort on shoreline before the raid ends, and when you do not walk, you won't gain points. If you are obsessed with getting your skills up without abusing any bugs or glitches, then the ways I described would be the ones to use to power level them. That said, if you are determined to go for it, I recommend that you use a second monitor to watch a show, because walking around a map and doing only that will be boring. You can combine this method by reloading an SKS to max out your assault rifle if you wish. Anyway guys, if you have any questions like I said, just let me know, and thank you very much for watching. If it was helpful, please give me a like, give me a follow, and I'll see you around. And I'll see you in episode 3. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.